So welcome you all. Uh, today we will study about the various terms associated with genetics. These terms you will come across throughout genetics. Okay. First one is alleles. What alleles are? Alleles are the alternating forms of same genes which determine the contrasting characters. Okay. Alleles are located on same locus on homologous chromosome. So if two chromosomes are two homologous chromosomes are like this, then alleles are located. If this is the chromosome number one and one allele is located here, then another one is located on the same locus on the homologous chromosomes. Okay, got it? Now come to homozygous. <coughs> what is homozygous condition? A diploid condition where both the alleles are identical. Okay, a diploid condition where both the alleles are identical is called as the homozygous condition. Got it? So the condition where both the alleles, let it be, if the two alleles are capital T, capital T, then this is your, your homozygous condition. Or if the two alleles are small t, small t, then this condition is also homozygous condition. Now come to another one, heterozygous condition. It is the deployed condition where both alleles are different. Okay. Both alleles are different means it's a hybrid individual. What is that? Capital T, small t. So here both the alleles are uh, different. So this is a heterozygous condition. Got it? Then come to phenotype. What is phenotype? Phenotype is nothing but the external or physical expression of a character. That means we can know by just by looking at the um, looking at the figure we can know what character it is. Okay. If it is tall then we can see it that if it is a tall then it is a phenotypic expression. Okay. Then genotype. It is the genetic expression of a character in terms of alleles. Okay. Genetic expression. If we are saying that an individual or the pea plant is a tall plant, then if we are expressing it in form of alleles, then we can say that it is capital T small t or capital T capital T. Both these uh, things are uh, things represent tallness. Got it. Now come to dominant. What is dominant? That means an allele which can express itself whether in homozygous condition or heterozygous condition that allele is called dominant allele okay in Mendelian experiment we um, uh, it is being given as it is represented by capital letter capital T that means look capital T that is tallness can be expressed when capital T and capital T both of them are present that is homozygous condition is found the tallness can also be expressed when there is capital T as well as small t. That means in heterozygous condition also the uh, dominant allele can express itself. Got it? Now come to recessive condition. What is recessive condition? The allele expressing itself when present in homozygous condition. That means the allele expresses itself. Recessive allele can express itself provided it is present in a homozygous condition. But if it is present in a heterozygous condition, it cannot express itself. Okay, that means small t, small t. It's a homozygous condition, so the plant will be dwarf, isn't it? So that means the dwarf character is expressed when the alleles, the recessive allele, small t is a recessive allele, if it is present in a homozygous condition. But if it is associated with a dominant allele in a heterozygous condition then it cannot express okay it cannot express got it now come to mono hybrid mono hybrid cross what is mono hybrid cross simply we can say that a cross made by taking into account only one pair of contrasting character okay that is mono hybrid cross that means here only one pair of alleles is used Okay, when cro we cross a tall plant with a dwarf plant, that means only one pair of allele is being used. So it's, uh, it's an example of monohybrid cross. Now if we say 
डाइहेबिट क्रॉस डेट मीन्स ए क्रॉस इन्वॉल्विंग टू पेयर्स ऑफ कंट्रास्टिंग कैरेक्टर्स डेट मीन्स देर मस्ट बी यूज ऑफ टू पेयर्स ऑफ एनिल्स से फॉर एग्जाम्पल रेड ओके देन योर राउंड एंड रिंकिल इट्स वन इट्स वन पेयर ऑफ कंट्रास्टिंग कैरेक्टर another term uh, another pair of contrasting character associated with it what your <coughs> round yellow capital y capital y then this one is smaller smaller wrinkle and wrinkle green small y small y okay look two pairs of contrasting characters are involved okay so this is the shape round one is shape wrinkle is shape one pair of contrasting character this one is color yellow color of the cotyledon green color of the cotyledon got it so two pairs of contrasting characters are involved in it so this is what your dihybrid cross is all about then come to f1 generation what is f1 generation generation produced by crossing two parental organisms so if we are taking two parental organisms and crossing them the first generation of individuals they constitute the f1 generation Say for example, we have taken tall plant and crossed it with what uh, dwarf plant. So from this we get gamete capital T. From this we get gamete small t. So the F1 generation we get in the F1 generation we get plants capital T small t. Okay. So this one is F1 generation. Okay. Now come to F two generation. What is F two generation? Similarly, when we are when we are crossing the plants obtained from the F two F one generation, and the individuals that we get by these kind of crossings are, are constitute the F two generation. So generation produced by crossing two individuals of F one generation, they constitute F two generation. Generation produced by crossing two individuals of F one generation. they constitute f2 generation okay then come to test cross what is test cross test cross means a cross involving a hybrid that is obtained in the f1 generation that is the f1 generation i mean f1 plant if we cross it with a double recessive parent parent that means a homozygous recessive parent a double recessive parent or a homozygous recessive parent homo zygous recessive parent got it this one is your what your um, double recessive parent so test cross is nothing but a cross involving f1 hybrid and a double recessive parent say for example Uh, in the mono hybrid uh, cross we get um, what um, by crossing tall plant uh, capital t capital t and small t small t we get what capital t capital t crossed with small t small t we get what in the f1 generation we get capital t small t okay after that this one is the f1 generation f1 generation Now, if we cross this F1 generation plant with a homozygous recessive parent, okay, homozygous recessive parent, which one is homozygous recessive parent? This one, isn't it? These two, these two constitute the parental generation. Out of which homozygous recessive parent is small t, small t. So, if we cross capital T, small t with this homozygous recessive parent, we get what? The test cross. This is what your test cross is all about. Got it? Test cross. Okay. Then after that, let us come to um, your uh, back cross. What is back cross? Similarly, back cross. In this type of cross, it involves a F1 hybrid. That means the plants obtained in the F1 generation. It is then crossed with either of the parent. That means either the your um, homozygous dominant parent or your homozygous recessive parent so um, let us take uh, take the example of your um, um, what your um, 
monohybrid cross we get in the f1 generation capital t small t what was our parental generation it was capital t capital t and small t small t got it now if we are crossing capital t small t with either capital t capital t that means homozygous uh, dominant plant or homozygous dominant parent or small t small t that means homozygous recessive parent then that is what we call it as what your uh, back cross got it so back cross involves f1 hybrid that means plants obtained from the f1 uh, generation it is then crossed with either of the parent either of the parent means what either of the parent means either the homozygous dominant parent in this case we are taking capital t capital t or homozygous recessive parent in this case we are taking small t small t this is what your what um, back cross is all about now last one is your pure lines pure lines you will come across this term a number of times okay what is pure line nothing else very simple plants that produce similar progeny for a particular character are called pure lines or true breeding or pure breeding that means the plants which produce similar kind of progeny for a particular character okay progeny means offsprings generations after generation same kind of character uh, bearing individuals are produced from the parents then they constitute the pure lines or true breeding or pure breeding okay so uh, these are the some of the terms that will come across in the uh, your uh, uh, 12th standard um, so you just go through all these things um, and i hope that it will help you a lot in your uh, classes okay in your future classes thank you